Ever since I started my series on every gun in Modern Warfare and I've been kind of making my way down the list as I see fit, I have seen a great number of people try to tell me that I need to use the burst attachment on the FAL. And not only is this wrong, I can prove it. First, let's establish what the FAL is incredibly good at. Shot pacing. What that means is that it allows you to fire as fast as your finger can pull the trigger or be paced out carefully for long range engagements or against small targets. I mean, honestly, this isn't rocket science and yet I see so many people in my comment section requesting the dumbest shit I think I've ever seen requested to me for a Call of Duty game. Now, maybe the amount of customization is just overwhelming to people, but the FAL one here is a no brainer. The FAL in its standard fire mode, one, does not require an attachment slot, two, allows you to fire at your own pace, you know, and you can kind of adjust to the situation at hand, making the gun more versatile. The FAL's default magazine is 20, the burst attachment fires three rounds at a time, you do the math, you will eventually get a weird two round burst at the end of your mag. Also, there is a delay between your bursts, meaning you could lose a gunfight simply due to that mechanical aspect of your weapon and not your own trigger finger, accuracy, or shot pacing. First things first, the analytical finding of holy shit this burst pattern is erratic. Honest to god, I don't know who is playing with this burst attachment and having any fun with it. If you do any wall test with the burst attachment, even when trying to control it, you are going to have the most random burst patterns I have ever seen. In my FAMAS video, I critiqued it for being fussy and kind of frustrating to deal with, mostly due to the fact that the recoil made it difficult to land shots on small targets, and the delay between the bursts made it difficult to pace your shots properly. And you'd have situations where somebody has more cover than you, and you fire a burst, and you get a hit marker, maybe two, maybe one through the wall, you know, one to their chest. You need one more hit to kill them, but between lining up the shot, firing the shot, and then waiting for that delay, the person's already acquired you and started shooting you with an automatic weapon, a more conventional uh, automatic weapon like an AK or an M4, and you're gonna die. So that was already my problem with the FAMAS. The FAL has this crazy ass recoil pattern with the burst attachment, and it's also worth noting that, again, it requires an attachment slot, a precious attachment slot, to have this burst fire functionality. Now, one of the things I didn't point out in my FAMAS video is that you can switch the weapon to semi-auto and two-tap people's heads. Okay, maybe I mentioned it, but it is a pretty good thing you can do if you need to hit a small target with the FAMAS. You can go ahead and swap it over to semi, and it's not too bad. Um, when you put the burst attachment on the FAL, it does not become part of your selector switch. It just locks the gun into burst mode, so you cannot move it over to semi-auto if you need to hit a small target. I probably wouldn't even make this video or be as upset with this attachment if it gave it a selector switch, but it removes your selector switch option, which I guess the gun didn't have in the first place, but it doesn't add one, and that way you're locked into burst fire. Meaning, if somebody is head glitching or running, and you need to just you know, get a shot accurately on target, you can't. If you have the burst attachment and somebody is at a distance and they're moving and you need to land three shots, and this is even with recoil mitigating attachments, uh, both recoil control and stabilization, you're gonna land probably one shot out of your burst, one shot out of your burst, and another shot out of your burst, and that will be the kill, and you've spent nine rounds doing the job of around three or four. And also, you have to wait for that delay. You can't fire slowly, you can't just do a nice simple pop, 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 and pace those shots perfectly. You can't spam fire and do pop, 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 pop. You can't do that. You are stuck going pop, 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 pop. So if, if my mouth noises here aren't really making it clear, I don't know what will. Now, obviously, you can have fun with anything in Call of Duty. I've seen my friends have fun with stupid setups. Just actually tonight, uh, I guess earlier yesterday when I was playing, I I've been up all night, but I was running the M4 with SOCOM rounds, a grenade launcher, a muzzle brake, and a hybrid sight. And uh, and while it was kind of fun to play with that, it, it it's not something I'd go to comment sections and, and recommend. So if you enjoy the burst attachment, sure. I mean, at mid to close range, maybe, maybe that outwards of mid range, it's pretty 
you know, it's pretty capable of taking care of itself with or without attachments. It's going to be a little shit, so it doesn't really matter how you run it, I guess. It's not too fussy, it's just going to be limiting. So this video is to say, stop recommending it to people, you're lying to yourself. It's not better, it's not interesting, it's just there. It doesn't add anything to the weapon, you're not adding functionality, you are limiting yourself, you are removing versatility. Because the nice thing about the FAL is that if somebody is at crazy long range and you have the patience to, you know, pop, 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 and land those shots at a steady pace, it'll let you do that. And it'll kill quickly while doing that, which is impressive and nice to see. If you are limiting yourself to this random recoil burst with a delay in between that takes away one of your attachment slots, I don't know what to tell you. I know there are lots of Call of Duty players out there that just have drastically different experiences than I do. I still see people saying the Ram 7 is one of the best assault rifles in the game. And you might like it, but it's only slightly better than the M4 in its four shot kill range. And then literally every other assault rifle fits a more interesting role, does something a little bit more specialized. Uh, it has less recoil, they have more damage, they have a higher fire rate, they're more customizable, they have more unique attachments. And, and yet some people are still telling me that for some reason the, the Ram's better than the, than the M13 or the Kilo, and I'm sorry, it's just not. Of course, these videos are for entertainment value, and so is the video game. Use whatever you want, that's what's most important. Whether you hate the guns I like or love the guns I hate, I don't really mind. But here's a problem. I'm concerned that so many of you recommended me a setup so fucking terrible that when using it, all I could do was laugh. Sure, up close you might be able to get some kills, but I don't know why you would limit the gun that way and limit your customization options that way just for the potential to get a one burst kill with something that's already going to get a two tap kill. So I don't see the point. A one burst kill is not better than a two tap, so I really don't see the benefit. But either way, my conclusion with the FAL in burst fire is that if you are not skilled enough to balance your fire rate with a semi-automatic rifle, then you're not probably doing well in the game anyway, so if you wanna fucking make it a little bit worse with the burst attachment, I guess go for it. Just stop recommending it to people. If it gave you a selector switch, if it didn't take an attachment slot, I might not make this video at all, but there's too many things stacked up against it. Stop requesting it. The FAL is great in the hands of somebody that can Fire quick, then fire slow. It's not fucking rocket surgery, it's not that hard. Also, that type of fire control allows you to hit small targets, which makes it great for realism and hardcore and ground war. So, go ahead and fuck yourself. See you when I see you guys. Goodbye, and stop fucking asking me to use burst on the foul. <laughs> oh my god. Gotcha. Get the can side mantle. This... Hey, tag denied. <laughs> this dude denied my tag right next to me and then just kept running like he didn't know I was right there still by it. Do another VTOL, by the way. Pistol. Pistol VTOL. What? What the f Who just killed me?